Also, October 31st, if you are of the trick or treating age, October 31st, a special celebration for us. Why not come dressed as a saint? That's what we're striving to become. We're going to have a special celebration on All Hallows' Eve in our activity center. Um, information's forthcoming on that, but come to Mass and come to that celebration dressed as a saint. Special welcome to those who are new to our parish, those who are visiting. A special welcome especially to those who are drawn here by the Holy Spirit this day, those who are looking for a place to put down spiritual roots. You found the right place, and in fact, you've picked just the right weekend because in the narthex of our church, we have a special display this weekend of the various activities and the various ministries of our parish. I encourage everyone to stick around a little bit after Mass, visit the different booths, learn what's being done, learn who is doing the good work around here, and see if there's something that is attractive to you, something that you might get engaged in uh, as a way of, of, of living out your life more, more fully as a member of our parish as you take a look at the booths set up for the ministry fair. As we study stewardship this month, we find a gospel today that very much fits the theme. The gospel story of the ten lepers, ten of whom were cured, only one comes back to offer thanks to our Lord. This theme of thanksgiving is at the core of stewardship. Stewardship is the awareness of all the good things that our God does for us, all of the wonderful ways in which our Lord blesses us. And our response to the Lord is always one of gratitude, telling our Lord, thank you. And I hope that's something that we're doing every single day of our lives. I hope that's something we do before we go to bed, before we fall asleep at night, just to review the day and think of three ways in which God has blessed us and to offer God prayers of thanks for those three things. They might be small things, they might be grand things, it matters not as long as we say thank you to our God. Gratitude, like the leper who is praised by Jesus for recognizing and giving thanks. Gratitude. And following from gratitude comes responsibility, taking care of the gifts that God has given us, nurturing them, developing them, especially the gift of talent. Talent, that's our theme this weekend, stewardship of talent. The ministry fair ties in with this. Now, there is an abundance of talent in our parish. Every time I turn around, I see one more talented person doing good things for the sake of the church. And if you're scratching your head at this point, if you're saying, but I don't have any talent, I'll tell you flat out, you're wrong. You do have talent. You might not have the kind of talent that it takes to win America Idol. Who cares about that? You might not have the kind of talent that it takes to get to the NBA. Who cares about that? But if you have a talent, like the talents that I've seen around here, your talents can indeed give glory and honor to God. What do I see? I see talents like the ladies who are engaged in the ministry of the prayer shawls. And if you don't know what a prayer shawl is, there are examples in the booth uh, outside in the narthex. They are using their talent of being able to make these shawls and they're praying as they do this work. 
And these shawls go out to those who are homebound, those who are bedridden. And those shawls provide comfort, both physically and spiritually. It's a wonderful use of that particular talent. I see the talent uh, of those who help with our funeral meals. And that is a wonderful expression of consolation to the families who have lost loved ones, to not have to worry about feeding all of their friends and family on that day. There's a lot of talent, a lot of talented cooks in this parish. There's a lot, there are a number of people who are very talented at visiting the shut-ins, those who have a real sense of compassion in their heart and can go and visit our nursing homes and spend quality time with those who don't get out very often. I see those who are talented at making things and doing things with their hands, lending their skills and their talents to make sure that our buildings and grounds are in tip-top shape. Our music program is the envy of many, many parishes. We have a lot to be proud of there and all those who are involved in the sacred liturgy. I'm very proud to say that I have the best altar servers in southern Indiana, top-notch all around. There is an abundance of talent in our parish, people who are using their talents and sharing them generously for the good of our parish here inside the parish and outside as well. I see people who are using their talents to build up family life, to build up their own families in such a way that the number one priority in that household is serving the Lord. That takes talent, especially in our day and age with so many other influences to stay focused on the Lord. That's a wonderful thing. I see people who are using their talents at work in such a way to give glory and honor to God, going to work every day and nine to five or eight to five or however the long the work day is, bringing that sense of integrity and honesty and fairness to their work. Those are not things to be taken for granted in our day and age. Those are ways to give glory and honor to God. Just like the people in our parish who are using their talents to stand up for the dignity of the human person, witnessing to the value of human life at every point along the spectrum. These are great talents that are being put to use for a very noble purpose. This weekend, as we focus on stewardship of talent, being grateful to God for the abilities that he gives us, taking responsibility for them, developing them, nurturing them, and very generously giving back to the Lord through lives of generous service. We have some particular needs this weekend that are expressed in the ministry fair. And I encourage you to visit the booths and see if one of these doesn't appeal to you. If, if you can see one thing that you can do to help our parish and help, help us inside and outside. For example, the St. Vincent de Paul Society. It takes care of the poor of Monroe County. It's an effort of the three parishes in Bloomington ours included. And I was put off when I found out that our parish is underrepresented in our local St. Vincent de Paul. We don't have as many members proportionately as we should. We have some good members who are active. Let, let there be no doubt about it. But we can use more to help the, in the very practical application of the extension of the Ministry of Charity. We need collection counters. 
We need folks to help with the meals for moms, making sure that those who have brought new life into the world have their meals taken care of those first couple of weeks. Fellowship Committee and the Women's Club, these are two groups that want us to be doing more in terms of, of getting together and sharing our lives together, socializing. We need more people who can help with those projects. It takes a lot of elbow grease to put on an event. We need your help. Daughters of Isabella are represented. The youth group is represented. You can learn more about how you can help with the youth group if you are a youth or if you are somebody who is drawn to help young people in their faith. Those are the things that are going on inside our parish, outside of our parish, the corporal works of mercy and the spiritual works of mercy. These are things that do not require a sign-in sheet. These are things that we can be attentive to, the opportunities to use our talents to help people out with the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. And if anybody says, but Father, I don't have time to do any of this. All I can do is pray. My response is, what do you mean? All you can do is pray. That's the most important thing. Prayer keeps our world spinning some days. Prayer is what fuels the good works that are going on here in and through our parish. And so let us be attentive this weekend to the gift that the Lord gives us, the gift of talent. And let us be grateful for our talents, responsible in building them up, nurturing them, developing them, and very generous in sharing those talents for the good of others. Our Lord Jesus in the Eucharist gives us everything he can possibly give, his body and blood, soul and divinity, all so that we might have what it takes to live lives of generous service, to give back as the Lord has been generous in giving to us.